Hi, welcome to the first war of season 11, but before I continue, click subscribe button below with the video, ring the bell to stay notified and let's go. From the creators of Do You Like To See Me Die In Wars, the blockbuster come the second one, Do You Like To See Me Die In War, part 2. And this is what is going to be happening in this war. A lot of interesting stuff that are going to happen. So the first fight, it's unblockable spite, unstoppable spite, sorry, and... I decided because I'm greedy I will bring Corvus and we'll try to clear this guy we'll try to get an evade charge and let's see how it goes so he evaded now I need to get a charge right it's also spite node it gets unstoppable and unstoppable for a very very long time and I'm like okay let's do a risky move and I managed to get my charge so I have Corvus Venom here Venom is going to be MVP here and here he managed to get me and now I'm at the corner and I only now notice that I'm at the corner so I decide you know what let's try to build my sp2 maybe when he's done let's do sp2 and on the parlor he evaded and parried me and did the sp2 immediately and although I have limber at max it still took a long of time and I died it was so fast it happened so fast he evaded and mini evade, he parried Corvus and trigger SP2 immediately. First fight and I'm dying. This is what you pay to win greedy for Corvus charges. And, and man, it was such a dumb mistake. But it's not, not over. We're moving on, we're moving on here. Again, some BS happening in this war and I'm like... Oh, what is going on here? Something very, very strange happening to me here. I know, I know, I'm a bad player, but still something is wrong here. I just... The responsiveness of controls, and you will see it, you will see it. And we're moving on to next fight. And next fight is a Medusa. It's... It's Aspect of War node, and it's Medusa. And after Aspect of War, she became unstoppable, passive unstoppable, so you can't... Um, you can't really remove it with Beardo and of course also a spite node so Beardo is really really good for this path his furies are passive and I'm playing safe here I'm just let's do just party heavy a very nice heavy and maybe maybe we'll finish the fight so she had three furies and I know I can't trigger any specials and honestly I don't want to trigger a special and then I decided to go with mine, 37,000 damage and she's down. It was a nice fight and I'm moving on to next one and this is Jugs again on unstoppable buffs and I'm like let's, let's start wasting items on this war because you know it's season and we need to do our best and I think I'm the first death of my battle group and but this was just happened too fast i think too fast wait parry sp2 nothing i could really do and i'm playing very very cautious here i'm just doing some heat checking that i'm removing the unstoppable because there is a chance that beardo will fail on that it says accuracy ability increase of unstoppable so i don't really know what it if it, if it really works with beardo but the fight is going pretty well here parry sp2 and he's down so one death, it's the first death, and we're moving on to next one. So I hate this part that I need to click 10 times to move to the node, but now I'm like, okay, it's Iron Man Infinity Douche. I have Iron Man Infinity Douche on the future fight, and maybe I will need some Corvus charges because there are also mini bosses. And I'm like, okay, I will boost. And I will use Corvus, I even put some, I revived Corvus, put some health potions, I put more health potions. Man, I'm wasting items like crazy this war. And let's go! I'm very, very confident. It's the, yeah, they also have this armor break uh, buff, uh, defensive buff. So I'm trying not to armor break him because he will get uns unbreakable. I don't remember the note. Basically, you won't do any damage. So it's also aggression fury and... You need to do a damage and soon something will happen and this is I show to my alliance and they like what and just pay attention and here here was the lag the game just stopped froze for me and then after the freeze he did his medium attack and then he parried me and did two hits of critical damage each one of ten thousand so this death 
was super annoying to me because I tried to also do it in slow, slow motion. I did medium light. Of course, I pressed immediately medium. I used to it, but it just froze for me and then did the medium and <laughs> it parried me. Ah, oh, man, I was furious. I was such a two devs of first war of season 11, but I'm sure some of you will be happy because this is the best thing when you see people die in wars. It's funny and I hope you enjoy it and it's okay. I'm also enjoying when I'm watching this video. So now I'm like, okay, let's wait, not, <laughs> not rush because four armors is going to be an auto block. So I'm just, now let's play safe with Venom and Venom, man, she's so amazing. He's so amazing. I really, really enjoying him. I think he also great for Lion's War attack and uh, there is going to be last Havoc fight with Venom. It's going to be a pretty epic fight. So, uh, still I have a full annoying army infinity douche to clear and this alliance just don't care about diversity and I'm like I'm not going to wait I'm going to hit you with all my power soon I will have my true strike and no matter what you will do I will kill you let's go with intercept because I need to remove the furies come on and I'm just continuing and now I have my true strike come on I'm ready for my sp2 I'm ready for my sp2 let's go come on come on a few more hits and I'm going to risk sp2 because if you won't kill him it will kill me but he's down Venom. so this fight is over two deaths I'm very very pissed about this death because it's just BS honestly just the lag was super super annoying but it's not over it's not over yet and I'm moving to path number three and again again this Iron Infinity douche and I'm like should I revive Corvus? No, no, I won't waste item, items on Corvus anymore and I went with my beautiful Venom this Iron Man Infinity douche is much easier than previous one it's basically nothing here and here I made a mistake and everything again I, I dredged back but he hold block of course some will tell you that you didn't you probably didn't respond but man I'm telling you I tried to dash back he hold block but okay shit happens and I'm like okay let's let's start punching this guy I don't want to die anymore please no more deaths no more deaths this war so we're moving on and I'm like okay let's be a little bit more aggressive he become indestructible and I'm not sure probably this is the node but I don't remember I don't remember really why he's indestructible but I don't really care I'm just punching this guy as hard as I can there is also backup recovery a lot of stuff going on here and I'm <laughs> all I know is I need to beat this one I have low amount of health and I don't want to die I don't want to die so now true strike and I'm like let's go with another sp2 finisher and boom he's down this true strike unblockable sp2 insane power and we're moving on to next it's a mini boss and this is a Medusa with power lock 1 debuff immune buff duration longer so her furies will, will stay for a very long time and I'm bringing my beard for this fight and I was thinking maybe we'd go with venom and heal a little bit but nope I'm not going to be greedy and let's go so I'm with Beardo and I saw this double edge message and I'm like hmm interesting so he runs suicide this is a good thing let's try just to bait SP once and try just uh, to give suicide kill her I'm also power locked and this is fun so now I'm just intercepting her I'm pretty confident in this fight really cocky I must say so she, she's losing a lot of health to recall just pay attention to all those nice intercepts some damage I'm playing super aggressive because I want to finish this fight very very quick don't want to waste time and Recall is doing its work for me and I'm at full health here so it's also very very good and soon another thing will happen yeah uh, I hope you will see it so the fight is going perfectly I'm at full health here full health this willpower just healed me and I'm like great great it's great healing my beard or maybe I should have gone with venom and just try to heal venom and here she parried me 
after finishing with medium I dashed in and she recovered so fast and parried me and I'm back to 59% and I'm like ah, shit should I now I need to start over again to build my health and I'm looking at the time I'm like time is just in my favor let's see how it goes so here is a moment of decision I'm like okay SP1 and but recall killed her so she's down then I had a fury fight and I thought I was recording the fight but I didn't I died with cap and finished him with venom venom is just insane beast and at this point we already knew that we will win the war the war is ours so I asked please 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 let me try with venom again I really want to see what I can do with venom against this guy so I died a lot this war yeah baby uh, but let, let me see what Venom can do against this guy. Come on, armor buff. And I see the armor and I'm like, nice. So I learned a lot about Havoc. And you don't need to bleed this guy if you don't have armor with Venom. Otherwise, plasma charges will be too fast on you. So what I'm doing here is two things. Uh, two things. One, when he is at one bar of power, I'm stopping after four hits and holding block. This usually will push him to trigger heavy, so my goal here is to push him only to SP2 and prevent SP1 at any cost because it's one, it's harder to evade, and basically it's harder to evade at this point. And also, all those buffs on Havoc can help me just to regenerate, and also Plasma working for, for my favor here, as you can see here, one, two, three, four, and I'm holding block. And as you can see here, it triggered his block. And I'm like, okay, let's spam SP once, let's hope to eat some buffs. And I'm gaining health, and the fight is going perfectly. I'm watching the time, I see, and I'm like, nice, nice, let's keep this way. And this Havoc have no chance to beat Venom. Four hits, stopping, heavy, and it's everything perfect. Everything that I really dreamed, dreamed of about fighting uh, Havoc happening in this fight. But, and I'm like, come on, come on. So, almost half of the fight is end uh, but he have a lot of hell here but I'm pretty sure when I will also enter the assassin mode I will do more damage and I'm just now on sp2 and I know I can trigger sp2 because it will remove my armor above and here I evaded too soon and tried to intercept and died I was so sad the soon evade uh, just caught me it was too soon too soon Damn, the fight went so perfectly. I was pretty sure I was I will be able to solo him. I hope you enjoyed this war video. I hope you enjoyed to see me die. I hope you enjoyed to see some uh, Venom fights. And see you soon on my next video.